Let's go ahead and create a Python project. Launch the PyCharm. Then from the welcome page, click on New Project. Here, give your project a name. Let's call it Python Programming. Then choose the base interpreter. Make sure you choose the appropriate interpreter. Here is an option to create a main welcome script. If you want it, you can check it. I'm going to uncheck it so that I can show you everything from scratch. PyCharm shows tips at the beginning. We don't need it. So check this Don't Show Tips box and close it. Sometimes, based on the PyCharm settings, instead of landing on the welcome page, the previous project will start. In this case, you can go to File and create a new project. Rest of the things are same as before. I'm not going to create another project because we already have one. Expand this project panel. We can see the name of our project here. Right click on it. Go to New. Then click on Python file. Let's name it Lesson 1 and hit enter. You can see the Python file has been created. Python files always have py extension. Alright, let's go ahead and reduce the size of this project panel. Simply type print, p-r-i-n-t, all in lowercase, open and close parenthesis and inside this parenthesis Add quotations. We can either use single quotes or double quotes. Now, in between the quotes, type in this is our first Python code or whatever you want to type. Now, right click on the Python file and click on run. Down below, you should see this little terminal window. Here, you can see our results for the output of our program. When we will learn more Python, you'll be able to build applications that have Graphical User Interface, or GUI. That is a little bit complicated at the beginning. So for now, we are going to use this terminal window to see the results of our program. Let's print Hello Python. However, this time we are going to use double code instead of single code. I want to print another line. Run it and we can see the output at the terminal window. Now what you need to understand here is that Python code gets executed line by line from top to bottom. In other words, the Python interpreter first executes line 1, then moves on to line 2 and so on. So this is how Python programs get executed. We have been printing plain strings. Let's do something little different. Now use the print function again. This time, inside of the quotation, put an asterisk. Then after a space, type in the asterisk again. This time without the quotation. Then with a space, write 20. This asterisk is a character, and this asterisk here is the multiplication symbol. It means we are multiplying this symbol for 20 times. Run the code. This time we are going to run it from here. We can see 20 asterisks here. Expand this terminal window, and click on Project to collapse this window. Here, this piece of code is called an expression. An expression produces a value. So, when Python interpreter tries to execute line 6, first it will evaluate the code that we put in between parentheses. Then this expression will produce 20 asterisks. After that, these asterisks will be printed on the terminal. That's all for this tutorial. 
So practice showing output on the terminal window and I'll see you in the next tutorial.